Hi classmates, this is Megan Fessler for American Christian Heritage, discussion board number two on denominational diversity. Um, I think denominational denomination within the Christians is very important because everyone believes something a little bit different. However, I want to make the point that it doesn't matter what denomination you're a part of. We should all come together and create a um, better culture for our community. And this was something that was founded and really taught in, um, in early America with the different denominations. Um, in a article that I found by Timothy Smith, it's called The Congregation, State, and Denomination, The Forming of American Religious Structure. And he basically states that the American colonies, when they first came to America in the 15th century, that they were too new and unstable to create a um, sense of spiritual kinship in the neighborhood and to provide education for children. And and we know that women were generally the ones who you know cooked and cleaned for the community and their households and did education and taught the children well when they first came to america it states in here in the same document that it was mainly single men that come to america so i just thought that would be a really cool um snippet um in another article that i found by Elwin Smith, The Forming of a Modern American Denomination. Um, he basically states that um, in one part of it that different denominations, the congreg Congregationalists and Presbyterians, um, they should come together um, and form voluntary groups for missions and education and publication um, and moral reform. Um, he also states during the Great Awakening that many new Baptist churches in England, uh, in New England were, uh, coming about and the Baptist missionary across the whole nation was multiplying swiftly, as he says. Um, and even the Methodist denomination, um, generally kept to themselves was trying to branch out and gain more people in their in their religion um just to kind of set who was where in um, early colonial america um in a book called ellery's protest um by stephen solomon um this chapter that i'm um, that I found this in was how religious diversity changed America. And he says in Virginia and the North, we had Baptists, Methodists, Presbyterians, um, the Anglicans established churches in the North. Um, there were some Methodists and then further South, um, there were Anglican establishments in the Carolinas. They had Huguenots, French Protestants, um, Baptists, Congregationalists, Presbyterians, um, there was Morvians, Quakers, German Reformed Protestants, um, and in Georgia there was Lutherans, Jews, Scottish Presbyterians. Um, and I think generally we see that the majority of them came together and um, took care of their community and their nation as we get closer into the revolution they all came together to for a better union. Thank you for listening. Bye.